Welcome along to this full ship tour and walkthrough of The Valiant Lady by Virgin Voyages. We kick off officially on deck 17, which is a short flight of stairs up from the jogging track below. Please do consider subscribing to the channel to help me grow and bring you new content. Just click that subscribe button and do hit that bell so you're notified of any future uploads. So, as I mentioned, up a short flight of stairs from the jogging track, which is officially deck 17, this is the perch, gives you brilliant 360 degree views, and there are also yoga classes here as well. So, let's drop down the stairs and take a closer look at the jogging track. And if you're not feeling overly adventurous, it's certainly worth a slow walk around here, just to take in the breathtaking views that it has to offer. You'll see the triple net down there, which we will get to shortly. And here is the Virgin sign, which looks beautiful by both day and night. So dropping down then to deck 16, this is the aft and you have the legendary triple net with views right down to the bottom of the ship. Are you brave enough to lie on this? Do be mindful that you need to take your shoes off so it can be quite painful on your feet. And as you can see, there are around daybed style seats in this area. So this leads us on to Athletic Club Bar then, one of many bars on board. You will find the likes of the pyjama party here on one of the evenings. That then leads us on to one of the three hot tubs on board. And then you have one of many soccer tables on board. Anyone fancy a game of chess? There is lots of funky seating around this ship as well. Some interesting to look at, some comfortable, some not so comfortable. And on the floor there you will see there's a twister style print on the floor. And this is the sports area, accessed from either side of the ship, port and starboard. And if you want to have a look out to sea, this is one of many of the telescopes on Moving board. on then, more seating, and then we get to the private cabanas. These are available to rent for a fee. We will have a closer look inside one in a moment. They come kitted out with a mini fridge. They also have USB and power source for US sockets. They also come with a day bed and a table and chairs when they are rented. You won't be able to see that in there right now. The day bed and the table and chairs are added after. So let's take a look. There you can see the power source, USBs and US sockets and the mini fridge below. Uh, let's continue on out and zoom our way forward to the mid of deck 16. Another one of those telescopes there. And here you will see these covered seating areas within the Sun Club Sanctuary. These are all completely free not many of them were used on my sailing, so I don't think you'd have any trouble getting one if you do want one. A view down to the pool with the day beds all around it. It is fairly small, but it is nice if you want a refreshing dip in the pool. Moving on towards the forward of the ship then. Lots of sunbeds, lots of space. More of the covered seating. And then coming up is the first of the two smoking areas on board. 
So this is the one and only outside smoking area on the forward starboard side of the ship. And then a sneaky peek into Richard's rooftop. This sun deck is for sweet and rockstar guests only. And we'll have another look when we get round to the port side of the ship shortly. So let's swing on round to the middle of the forward of the ship. And then coming up here you will see a selfie station and this is also where the outdoor DJ is placed. Around 4pm in the afternoon the music gets cranked up and it is like a floating nightclub. If that's your thing, the pool is the place to be late afternoon. So here we have then the Sun Club Cafe seating area and there is the cafe itself. And another glimpse then at Richard's rooftop sun deck. So let's continue our journey on deck 16 then let's work towards midship. And this is the place for you if you want to do a bit of keep fit and get those pounds off from the food you've eaten. It includes a boxing ring and lots of other fitness equipment and outdoor recreational fun items as well. If you've got energy to burn, this is your place. This is your adventure playground. Some of these odd looking day beds as well. Four way seesaw, anyone? Or the traditional two seater is coming up right here. On the left there is the entrance to the sports area. You can access it from both sides of the ship. And the very popular swings on board with netting underneath. Unusual to find these empty because they're quite popular. More of these trumpet type shaped devices. Table soccer. Add another one of the hot tubs on board and that brings us back around to the athletic club bar again. Moving on inside then you've got the training camp fitness area where some indoor classes are held. All classes are included within the cruise fare so you don't pay any extra. Quite a spacious area as you can see. So dropping on down then to deck 15. On the right hand side you've got the scene which is a bookable event space and then coming up here we have the tune up. If you need any Botox, fillers, pedicures, nail art, IV therapy and more. This is the place for you. And here we are. This is deck 15 proper, the pool area, the main pool. Lots more comfy seating around this area again. And then here we have then the aquatic club bar. This circular section which makes up the mid of the ship. One side here is the aquatic bar 
the other side is gym and tonic which we'll about to pop through and take a look at shortly lots more comfortable seating and another glimpse of the pool and you can see some of the day beds around it there so on to then gym and tonic bar let's take a quick look Two more of the hot tubs or jacuzzis and the plunge pool. Highly recommended, very refreshing. I love the dip in there. And then as we move back towards heading inside, you will see here the exterior of the gym, one of the two indoor gyms. It has two sides, which I will show you shortly. And then just before we head back inside, just around to the left you will see this weird and wonderful climbing frame if you're feeling adventurous maybe that's for you and then looking up that is the jogging track that wraps around all of deck 70. so heading on inside then let's visit the first of the two sides of the gym. Both are called B Complex. The first one we're going to head into now. And this is Burn and Bike. Have you ever seen so many bike machines in one room? That's not all of them either. So You've got all sorts of bikes, treadmills, all sorts of other equipment that you want to use that burns those calories. Absolutely loads of them and lots of window space so you can either look out to the pool area or out at sea or to port depending on where you are. And as we head back out, you will see there are plenty of towels and also plenty of locker space as well. There's those bikes again. There we are. Lots of towels, lots of lockers. So let's head on into the other side of B Complex. This is build and balance gym you've got balance balls you've got all of the weight machines and also the freestanding weights if you want to bulk up this is the place for you as you can see again views out to the pool area And use out to sea or port. So as we head on out of the gym area, let's take you on in to the galley. This is a food court style buffet area on the ship. lots of different venues for you to order from you take a seat and they bring it to you so unlike the traditional buffet where you go up and get your food or they serve you you literally if you want to take a look at each of the venues and see what's on offer you absolutely can but you can also view that on the menu Lots of drink stations dotted around this space as well. So the first of the venues then is Bento Baby. So lots of Bento boxes, sushi and the like. And you can 
just about see through those boxes there some sushi and then next up I don't think I've ever seen this before a popsicle stand check that out so we'll now head on through the buffet area and then we will come back in and I will show you the venues when we get back inside first of all though I want to show you the outside area seating the tables are spread out here so you've got your privacy and there are also some good views as well heading back inside then let's explore the venues that the galley has to offer First up then, hot off the press. All sorts of sandwiches, wraps, paninis. If you want a quick snack, this is your place to go. Moving on, noodle around, miso and ramen dishes. If that's your thing, just a word of note, this is only open at the time of filming for breakfast and lunch and not for dinner another drink station here yet another one of the many dotted around this area let's talk about it speaks for itself tacos available here moving on round then this is diner and dash serves an all-day breakfast coming up another venue that speaks for itself and that is the burger bar Next up, well-bred, sweet and savoury items baked, and one of my favourite places on the ship. Look at all of these yummy sweets. Gorgeous. Also fresh fruit here as well, so if you want to relieve the guilt or you just want to be completely good, that was the sweet side. Coming up here then, we've got the daily mix. Lots of different salad items available for you to choose if you're looking for the healthier option. We will take a closer look in a moment. Another drink station is there. And here we are, lots of salad items available here. Moving on then, at the end of the galley, but not part of the galley, is the first of the six specialty style restaurants. This is Gunbei, Korean barbecue restaurant absolutely tons of fun and it's worth noting all of the specialty star restaurants are free of charge there is no additional for you to pay they are all included within your cruise fare if you're up for a fun night and you don't mind a drinking game this is the place for you a word of warning though it can be a little noisy 
Next up then, the Grounds Club 2, an extension of the coffee shop on deck 7. So, dropping on down then to deck 7, skipping all of the living areas in between, we start with the groupie. These are private karaoke cabins. All are completely free, you just need to book them in advance. If you want to sing to your heart's content without the other passengers' ears bleeding, this is the place for you. On the mid of deck 7 then, coming up, we have the draft house. Forward of the draft house then we have another of my favourite places on board, Lick Me Till I Scream. There are 14 different varieties of ice cream, three of which change every day. You have three different flavour cones to choose from as well, such as plain or red velvet. You can have one or two scoops, both in a waffle cone or in a pot. Up next is the pizza place, straight on from Lick Me Till I Scream. Another venue I recommend, really delicious pizza. Can be a bit of a wait for it to be cooked, on my occasion it was 40 minutes. Oh so worth the wait though. Outside of Pizza Place you also have outdoor seating, as do lots of venues on Deck 7. There's a brief glimpse there of the outdoor seating. So onwards then, this is the Sip Lounge Champagne Bar. Nice, quiet, chilled atmosphere in here. If you want to escape all of the madness, then this is your quiet space to come to. As we head on out of the SIP house then, we come now to the part of the ship that is known as the roundabout. On the left here is Get Lost, which is the future voyage cells. And here we have Voyage Vinyl, a record store. Just to the left of the record store is the draft house that you saw a little earlier. Due to onboard exercises, some of the internal doors were closed, so I filmed it not in quite the order I wanted to. So here you can see the chart room shore excursions and a nice big model of the ship not available for purchase unfortunately so here you can see then the roundabout area from here on deck seven it is also down on deck six as well as you can see the spiral staircase goes all the way down from here on seven down to six
So moving on then, the Grounds Club. This has to be my all time favorite venue on board because this is the place that got me going in the mornings. Free pastries as well, available all day long. And as for pretty much everywhere I went on board, the staff here were really friendly. Moving on then, the next venue coming up is the Social Club. Here you will find all kinds of board games and it's a social area. There is also a bar area and food as well. Lots and lots of choice of board games there. So let's pop on into the social club food area. Indoor shuffleboard table there you can see. And as we head on in and to the left, this takes us to the arcade. Yet another free venue. Lots of retro games like Space Invaders, Miss Pac-Man, all sorts of things, all completely free to play. And as we head on out, yet more games to play there. Some air hockey machines, another table football or soccer, and that then leads us into the loose cannon bar. So this can only be accessed via the social club. It's tucked away at the back of that. And you can sign the book if you want to. Ding ding. So let's head on out of the social club and swing a right. And if you want to have a little go at the grabber, your luck is in. So heading on then, we are now about to walk into the dock house. Here we are, the dock house. Let's take a wander through and then we'll take you into the bar area so that you can see that. This venue also has outdoor seating as well. So you can dine indoors or outdoors. Another quiet space on board as well. So as we head back out, we are about to come to the second of the specialty style restaurants. One of the only restaurants that is accessed from one floor into another. So this is The Wake. Entrance on deck seven, steps down to deck six for you to dine. Quite a spectacular lighting display my filming doesn't really do it justice because of the lines that are coming up but it is breathtaking so let's take a walk down and have a look at the dining space we are now approaching deck six so situated on the aft of the ship it's light 
it's airy really nice venue if you want to come for a steak this is an upscale steakhouse quite spectacular seating as well loads and loads of gold balls Just awe-inspiring aft views. We'll take a look. Just look at that. Imagine sitting here for sail away, especially if there's a sunset. That would be special. Quite a large venue, as you can see. And one last glimpse at that light feature up the cascading staircase. So onwards then, this is Extra Virgin, the Italian restaurant on board. Third of the six specialty style restaurants, yet again, completely free of charge, no upcharge whatsoever. Worth noting though, all of the restaurants have upcharge items, so if you do want to treat yourself, you can pay for something a little bit special. Yet another quite spacious area in this restaurant as well. At night time, the lighting is very subtle as well. Film this during the day, you don't really get that vibe, but yeah, it is quite dim in here at night. So as we come out of Extra Virgin then, this leads on to the retail center. This is on either side of the ship. On the opposite side, you have another restaurant, which will come to shortly. And along both sides, you have retail areas, all sorts of things in here. You've got the ship merch, bags, clothing, jewelry, watches. There's even a tattoo parlor on board as well as hairdresser, barbers, and all sorts of things that you could think of. Just before the tattoo parlor then, we have this selfie board. So, if you want your photo taken with the logo behind you, or you want to take your own photo, there's the place to be. And here is the famous tattoo parlor on board. If you want to get a permanent souvenir, this is your place to come.
And here again, you can see the roundabout, the view up from six to deck seven. As you can imagine, lots of people use this for a selfie stop also. And this is On The Rocks Bar. Often live performances, solos and bands. Some really good performances I've seen here, including the Diva, the House Band, the Soul Band were incredible. And lots of other performers on this stage as well. And here's the funky little champagne topper here as well. So, moving on round to the other side of the ship then, we have yet more retail venues. This then leads us on to the other specialty restaurant on the opposite side of Extra Virgin, the Italian restaurant. One of my favourite restaurants, but I will save that for shortly. Really is an extensive retail area on this ship. They just keep on coming. Almost everything you can think of in shop form. Cosmetics, makeup the works and then you've got some designer bags on display there as well okay here we go then this is i think my favorite restaurant on board and that is the test kitchen a lab style experimental restaurant where you don't get a menu in the traditional sense you are given what the one food item is you can choose from meat or vegetarian options and then you are brought a dish based on that ingredient and you have no idea what it's gonna be lots of fun really Instagrammable food however lots and lots of flicker in here due to the fluorescent lighting above doesn't take anything away from the venue I absolutely loved it and I've never seen so many weird and wonderful dishes including a mousse that is in the shape of a mushroom and looks just like a mushroom moving on then this is the casino quite a spacious venue just so you're aware this is completely non-smoking there is a smoking section coming up i will share that with you when we get there but the larger majority of the casino space is completely non-smoking lots and lots of different machines available and tables quite the vast area Just there on the left you will see that is the entrance to the nightclub which is called The Manor which I will bring to you shortly. So a fair number of tables as you can see. If you get bored of playing or you're losing and you want to take your mind off of it there are portholes around the side of the ship so you can lose yourself taking in the views of the ocean. They just keep on coming.
So, let's step on into the cage. As I mentioned, the majority of the casino is completely non-smoking. This small area is smoking. And there are limited machines in here if you want to gamble while you're having a smoke as well. Quite a strong smell of smoke in here, especially if you've got a number of people in here at the same time. The extractor fans do work overtime, but they don't clear that stench. So, as previously mentioned then, here is the Manor nightclub. Quite possibly one of the best entrances to a nightclub that I've ever experienced. Just take a look at that. If you want to shake your thang, this place is open most evenings. Moving on then, the den. This is a bookable meeting space. And then on to the red room. Interchangeable theatre and entertainment venue. There are three different setups in here. As you will see, there are seating facing towards the stage, as is set up right now. It also, for dual reality, can be set up to have seating both on the left and on the right with the performance area in the middle. And also, for the untitled dance show party thing, there was a stage set in the middle which is movable and throughout the performance the stage moves. Moving on then into sailor services which is Virgin's equivalent of guest services down on deck 5. Here we go then, the absolutely dramatic, beautiful, stunning entrance to Pink Agave, the fifth of the six specialty style restaurants on board. Pink Agave is the Mexican style restaurant. Virgin pride themselves on the fact that it's not an Americanized version. They call it an authentic Mexican restaurant. And like all of the specialty style restaurants on board, there are upsell items that you can purchase if you want to treat yourself that little bit extra. On the opposite side then, again on deck five, we have Razzle Dazzle. Quite the experience, this restaurant. Do you want sprinkles on your French toast? Well, this is the place for you. Very much geared towards a vegetarian menu. There are meat items plus a secret meat menu. If you are afraid to try vegetarian, you're not feeling that adventurous, do speak to your waiter. They will give you that secret menu. And lastly on deck five, this is Redemption, the onboard spa. So, this just about brings us to the end of this ship tour. Thank you so much for watching. Please do consider subscribing to help the channel grow and allow me to bring you new content. If you have any questions at all, or you want to leave a comment in general, then please do so below. And if you've enjoyed it, then please give me the thumbs up. There is just one other place to visit on the ship, and I hope none of you ever need to call upon it. That is the Medical Centre, accessed from the forward elevators only. Thank you so much for watching and until the next upload, bye now.